Well, hello there. Ah, welcome to today's video. I'm redoing my high banker again. Um, the bucket blaster is dead. Um, it worked okay, but the reason I'm uh, redoing things is last time I went out, um, it kind of fell apart. The screen fell apart. So, I've, w the reason I'm having so many problems is because I run a recirculating unit. And it's because I have to. So, grizzly bars don't work very well. They let all kinds of big flat rocks into your sluice. And not only that, they fill up your tub super, super fast. So you just get got a ton of tailings. Um, screen doesn't work very well. It classifies it really good. But, of course, it falls apart. And the other problem is rocks don't slide on screen very well. So I've gone to a punch plate and some square plastic buckets. So I cut two buckets up, drill a bunch of holes in it. Um, I think it's going to work great. I've been out here playing with it. I have no complaints so far. I still need to do some finishing touches, but I think it's good enough to run and show you a little test what I'm looking at. So. Yeah, my dirt I'm running today is a whole bunch of leftover stuff from this winter. Some Home Depot sand. Um, one bucket is from the claim this year where we've been getting some pretty decent gold. A um, gram and a half the last time we were out. So there's some of that in here. So I know there's some gold in there, but let's turn this thing on. We'll just run some dirt through it. Okay, got the thing turned on now. I mean, this all bucket all fit good in my frame I already had that was nine inches wide. Um, I just got three nozzles, a four way at the top, I squished down some uh, PVC pipe to make my nozzles, and one more nozzle in the back, pointing it up towards the front. Um, we don't have a lot, losing a lot of water. It's working pretty dang good. So that's all I did. I made it so you can just shovel the dirt right into the back. This has got a lot more fines in it than I would have out in the field for sure. But it's still taking the fines off. If I need to help it out. That's it. Giving it plenty of time to wash, which I like. And I'm not afraid to get my hands wet, so I don't need it just piling them through there at 90 miles an hour. Like some people like to see, especially with no grizzly bars. So I see nothing wrong with what I got going on here. I got a pretty good stream of water going through this. Oh, and I am using my 2,000 gallon an hour pump. And all the fines are going down the sluice just like I want. working pretty good. So for a recirculating unit, we're only running a quarter inch classification. And we don't end up with a whole bunch of just tailings. I think this is going to work just fine. It would be different if we were running a big gas engine or something, but 
of where I did, we're not allowed to do that. So, for a 12 volt unit, I think this will work just fine. We're not getting any, any fines down here at all. <coughs> the sluice is running good. Okay, I ran my wheelbarrow full of dirt. Um, I think that's going to work. I might have to do a little bit more work on the nozzles, but I think that's going to work. I'm not losing a ton of water, which is a good thing. Uh, mats are running good, so I will go ahead and, oh, missed a big rock there. I'll get these cleaned out and see if we got any gold and I can get rid of this dirt, be done with it, and move on to bigger and better things. I didn't have a chance to get out this week. Wife's got a bit of a fever and not feeling good. She got bit by a tick of all things and it got infected. So we're hanging around the house this weekend for us. Okay, let me clean this out. Okay, I got some goodies in that dirt. There's a couple little pickers there. Four sapphires and some finer stuff. So that was that was worth running again. So that probably those two bigger chunks came more than likely came from the bucket I brought home from the claim here a while back. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time, and I'll be back with some more silicone mat molds. I hope. Um, catch you next time. Bye now.